Hey, welcome back today to Wings Eagles Ministry, where we're going to be giving a word from the Lord today that I feel like will go out there to someone special. I feel like someone out there needs to hear this, and I hope and pray you heed what I'm saying, because it's a very, very important word, and only you know if it affects you. But one thing the Word of God tells us is that His Word will not return void. In other words, someone out there needs to hear this. But the other day when I was praying, and I usually like to do these type of videos uh, toward the weekend, and it seemed like as I was praying, the Lord laid these words upon my mind, it's a time for recovery. It's a time for recovery. So today, you know your situation with the Lord. And if this fits what we're getting ready to say, if it fits you, I'm going to say this. Heed the call. When God calls you to do something, or says it's time to do something, don't put it off and don't think I'll do it later because God is calling you for a specific time and to do something at a specific time. Now, it seemed like as I was praying the other day, this came to me that there might be someone out there that is going through something that has separated you from your relationship with God. Maybe it separated you altogether Maybe it's caused you to grow cold. Maybe it's caused you to go down a different path. And sometimes you feel like there's no going back. You feel like there's no reason to go back. God won't take you back. Or maybe you are just going along feeling like, you know, God knows what I've done. No one else might not know, but I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to do because God knows, God knows I'm not where I need to be with him. Okay, here's the word that I want to leave with you today. It's time for recovery. Now, I'm going to show you today something from the word of God in just a few moments that shows you that you can recover what you've lost. And I'm not talking about necessarily something physically. I'm talking about something spiritually. I'm talking about something emotionally. Maybe you feel like you've been separated from God. Okay. Maybe your sin has separated you from God. And you say, wait a minute, I'm born again. Well, that's wonderful. But just because you're born again don't mean something hasn't crept in. Something hasn't separated you from God. Maybe you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. Maybe you're watching something that you shouldn't be watching. Maybe you're listening to something you shouldn't be listening to. Maybe you're going somewhere that you shouldn't be going, doing something that you shouldn't be doing. There's a lot of things that can come in between you and Christ. You know, the thing today is you don't have to let it get the best of you. You don't have to let it separate you from God anymore. God said today it's time for recovery. It's time to recover what you once was with God and get back to that state. Get back to that place. Get back to that fellowship with our Lord and Savior and our Creator. You can do it. It's time for recovery for you. I want to share with you a verse out of the book of Psalms, chapter number 51. This is the verse that the Lord laid upon my heart. And this verse concerns David. Most anyone that knows anything about the Word of God, that knows anything about the Bible, knows about David. They've heard about David. Little boy David that went out and slew the giant. Of course, it didn't stop there for David. We can read mighty things that David did, mighty chapters about David and his works. And of course, in e, how he ended up becoming the king of Israel. Okay? But there come a time in David's life where... He was needing recovery. He had slipped into a spot to where his fellowship with God was gone. Sin had separated him from God. Okay, sin had. What happened? Well, uh, you can read about it in the Word of God, but basically to just sort of summarize, uh, he fell into lust. And that lust turned into adultery. Adultery turned into deception and lying. Uh, eventually he turned into murder. All of these things separated David from his standing with God. Okay, 
Now, David went along just sort of going through the motions, but there reached a time when he realized, I've got to recover. I've got to recover from what I've done. Today, as I said, there might be a lot of things that you've done. Maybe it's something you're doing and you feel like you can't get over. And as I said, it could be it could be something you're watching, something you're listening to, somewhere you're going, something you're participating in that you know is not right. I'm going to tell you something today. I don't care what you have done. If you want forgiveness, God will forgive you. God's the person you need to go to. You don't have to go to anybody else. You don't have to go shout it from the rooftop. Just go to God in prayer and say, Lord, I want to be back to that state that I used to be with you. Lord, I want to recover what I've lost. And that is the fellowship with you, the closeness with you. I want to recover that, Lord. Now, as I said, David had went through a place where he lost that fellowship. And, and when you think about it, think about lust, adultery, deception, lying. Then you think about uh, murder. These are bad, bad things. It showed David was human, just like each and every one of us are. But when David reached that point where he knew it was time for recovery, in Psalms 51, he prays a prayer. Oh, it's such a wonderful prayer of repentance. Now, this is David. This is a man uh, out of the word of God that, that we hold. A lot of people would list him probably in their top three or four people to read about in the word of God. But David had a time when he had to recover. Okay, now here's what he said in Psalms 51 and 7. And I'm just going to read one verse, but this verse is very powerful. David said, purge me with hyssop. Purge me and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Now, he's not talking about something physically here. He's not talking about physically washing him. He's talking about spiritual. He's talking about forgiveness. And that's what he actually uses the words, how he's sorrowful in the other part of this passage, but I just wanted to share this one verse. But he said, I shall be whiter than snow. Wow, that's powerful. Wash me. I shall be clean and I shall be whiter than snow. Have you ever looked out on a winter's day and seen the beautiful snow falling and how it's just a glaze of white all around you? Have you ever noticed that out, maybe out in the field or under your yard or something? Such a pretty white tent. David said, I shall be whiter than snow. Can you imagine the man walking around with guilt from the lust, with guilt from the adultery, with guilt from, from having this man or this woman's husband killed? Can you imagine David and all the guilt he felt? No wonder this man prayed this powerful prayer in Psalms 51. But God forgave him for his lust. God forgave him for his adultery. God forgave him for what he had done to that man's uh, that woman's husband. God forgave him for that. And David said, when you do, Lord, I'll be whiter than snow. I'm telling you today. God forgave David for all of those things. And then it went on to say, God called David a man after mine own heart. David was a human being, just like me and you. We can all fall into these traps. And like I said, I don't know what it is today that you might have that separated you from God. Maybe you're hearing this video right now and you're weeping, feeling like God is talking to you. Well, he is. And God's saying, it's time to recover. Just come before me, the Lord is saying. Let me forgive you. And God will wash you whiter than snow. 
And, and you know, here it's as simple as this. As I said, you don't have to stand up on a housetop and proclaim to everyone, God forgave me. You don't have to do that. You know, it, you can go into a spiritual prayer closet, burdened down with whatever it is that you feel like is holding you back, that you feel like has led you astray. You can go into that prayer closet. You can pray and seek God. You can pray this prayer of repentance like David did and say, Lord, I know I too can be whiter than snow. And you get up and you walk out of that prayer closet and you're a new person. You, you still know the Lord, but all of a sudden you feel like it's all forgiven and you're right with God again. It's just having a little talk with Jesus. That's what will make it right. So today I'm going to tell you this. God says it's time to recover. All you've got to do is talk to him. God knows what you're doing. God knows where you're going. God knows what you're watching. God knows what you're listening to. God knows all of those things. So don't feel like God don't know. He knows. All he wants you to do today is if you're sorry for what you've done or what you did do or what you're doing, if you're sorry for that, just tell God today in forgiveness, he'll forgive you just like that. And when he forgives you, you too, just like David, you can say, Lord, I, I feel whiter than snow because I'm forgiven. And you just pick up right where you left off, walking with the Lord. Today, it's your day to get back in standing with God. And all you got to do is just say, Lord, the mistake I made or the mistake I'm making, I'm sorry for and it will not happen again. Lord, I call out to you and I ask you to forgive me. I'm telling you, Lord, I'm sorry. And you know what? God will forgive you right here and right now, right now on the spot. And as soon as he does, you'll be whiter than snow. It'll be gone, never, ever to be remembered no more. I hope this video helps you today. If you're still listening today and you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you be a part of this ministry. And we want to help people get closer to God. I share the word of the Lord with you two or three times a week in videos. And, and uh, we try to post little other little clips. And we post things on our community tab. And all sorts of things that we hope is an encouragement to the body of Christ. We hope you enjoyed this again. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the like, leave a comment, do all of those things. And I can't remember every one of them every time we have these videos, but you know what to do. Remember, God loves you. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next video.